It's me, KG, Chris Gardner, owner of the Houston Round Ball Review. How you doing out there? Real quick, this is comments from head coach Ty Lue, the Clippers, after their game six loss to the Mavs on Friday. Opening comments, and then a comment or two about uh, Kyrie Irving and Kyrie's 28 points in the second half. First up, the opening comments from Coach Ty Lue. Salute to the J-Kid, Mavs coaching staff. But Coach Lou is proud of his players and what they accomplished this season. Check it out. Um, I just view it as a great opportunity, you know, um, acquiring James, you know, getting James here, um, a guy that can pass the basketball, make it easier for our other guys, you know, um, so PG and Kawhi don't have to do all the lifting offensively. Um, so acquiring James, like I said, it took a little time to figure it out and how we wanted to play rotations, getting guys in the right spots. And once we figured it out, like we had a really, a really, really great stretch, you know, um, going 26 and five. Um, you know, after that, we had some injuries, guys, you know, in and out, minute restrictions, stuff like that. Kind of killed our flow. Um, but then I thought, you know, towards the end of the season, we got that back. And, um, you know, just, you know, it's always the what if, you know. And so I give our guys credit, like I said, for just, for just you know, sticking with it through, through all the ups and downs and, you know, all those, the negative scrutiny and, you know, all the things that um, – that they went through this season, but to, you know, to come back and do what we did. And um, like I said, finish fourth in the West in a tough Western conference and, um, you know, having to go into a, to a series again, you know, um, shorthanded. And so I give our guys a lot of credit, you know, for the scrap and for the, and I just give, like I said, the Clippers opportunity for me, have an opportunity to have these guys and um, work with them every day. And they put the work in and we got better, you know? And so, you know, tip your hats off to Dallas. They played a hell of a series, J Kid and Duds and you know Sweeney, they had these guys prepared. Like they had a game plan, a really good game plan. They stuck to it. They executed it. And um, like I said, J Kid did a hell of a job. You know, and so when you come into a hostile environment like this, you can't give up 18 offensive rebounds. You know, you got to secure those balls and um, hit bodies, which we talked about coming into the series. And then I just thought, you know, um, in that first half. I thought Zoo was dead, you know, after he had to play 22 minutes in the first half just to just to kind of get back in the game. We were down 13, and PG and James as well playing 22 minutes. Um, it caught up with us, and you saw that, you know, in the third quarter, you know, into the fourth that, um, you know, we just ran out of gas, you know. And so um, Kyrie, excellent performance in the second half, only having two at halftime, ended up with 28. I thought we did a good job mixing up our coverages, you know, with Luka trying to keep them off balance. Um, but overall, like I said, I'm proud of my guys, and you know, um, I'm happy. I was happy, you know, with our, for the opportunity, and I'm happy to work the guys put in to get to this point. All right, after you touched on some of this, but after getting some stops and buckets to tie things up at the half, what was that biggest difference, particularly in that third quarter, to go down? Came out, had three out of four bad possessions, turned the ball over, they got a couple easy ones in transition, and then uh, we just wasn't sharp, you know, offensively, which allowed them to get out in transition, get a couple steals, get a couple easy baskets, and then they went up eight, and they kind of had the momentum from there. So there you go, Coach Ty Lue, Tyron Lue, his thoughts about, uh, about his team. Running out of gas. What do you think about that? That comment, running out of gas. Paul George, James Harden. Zubak just didn't have played so much in that first half. Ran out of gas in the second half. Close at halftime. And then the Mavs pulled away in one, 114, 101. Now, these comments about specifically Coach Ty Lue and the job performance of Kyrie Irving in the second half of game six. Kyrie had 15 at the end of the third and then ended the game with 30. What was so hard about defending him, particularly behind the arc? Um, we didn't do a good job. You know, we didn't do a good job. We understand that, you know, Luca's going to, you know, Luca's going to get his. He's going to, if you double team and blitz him, he's going to pick you apart, you know. And we just figured that, you know, the guy we wanted to try to take out of the series was Kyrie, you know. And, um, and we had him in the half court. We did a good job. But, you know, in the second half, you know, this game, I think, like I said, J.K. did a great job of just giving him space, letting him play one-on-one. -on -one. We're supposed to be firing, trying to get the ball out of his hands, but he's so quick and shifty. He was able to reject, get baseline, which we he was firing from the middle. And so it was it was tough on us, you know. And so, you know, Kyrie's a special player. You know, I've already said that and um, has no offensive weaknesses. He can do everything on the floor. And, um, you know, he had a really big second half to prepare the team to a win. Clipper fans, what do you think about that?
NBA fans, basketball fans know Kyrie is a special player. Clips did not do a good enough job on defending Kyrie. Well, whose fault is that? Is this tip hat to Kyrie? Things Clippers did not do? What do you think? But throughout these playoffs, try to do more clips and from post games as uh, going forward here on the Houston Round Ball Review YouTube channel. Spread the word, spread the love. Everybody take care. More content to come in the future. Peace.